Hey guys and welcome to my channel and to this video as you could have seen in the beginning from the intro it will be a little bit more different today than the other days and I will be painting but I will be talking a little bit more about something else and not really all the way about my painting process but first I do want to say that I will be using this same sketchbook that I used for my previous paintings it's a sketchbook from Hannemule and you can find the link down in the description box also I will be using these ink pens from Etcher these ink pens are in a set of 16 ink pens pencil and an eraser this is an 4b pencil next to that i will be using these watercolors from alta new and also i will be using black for my set of watercolors brush i will be using this Raphael soft aqua number zero and also a little bit smaller round brush number four from dye knife and that's basically all for the supplies all of them are listed in my amazon store everything i could find on amazon so you can find it there now that we have put that out of the way i can talk a little bit more about the thing the theme i did wanted to talk about today i'm not sure if you have seen all over the internet but you will definitely see it especially on youtube instagram tiktok everywhere all social media facebook you will see a lot of a lot of uh, these messages today and these days and i'm so proud and happy to say that i am part of team c's and i really do want to deliver a message and just do them justice so i will dedicate this video to raising awareness and will to do something about our oceans about our rivers about the beaches and there is a tremendous pollution that there is on them plastic and other trash in and on them has created a real and serious health issues and cr health crisis for the entire planet and we are all aware of that and this is our chance to do something this uh, initiative is definitely our change to do something and do it from a comfort of our home so the the mission of team c's i do really wanted to tell you a little bit more about that is to raise 30 million dollars just to remove 30 million pounds that's something like 1 million 360 kilos of trash from our oceans from our rivers and our beaches all around the world and so if you can just count that of course you can there is just for every and each dollar one pound of trash will be removed so just one dollar and that is a one pound of trash removed that that really is amazing and to achieve uh, that goal team sees has teamed up with non-profit cleanup organization and they are guaranteeing that for every pound for every dollar there will be one pound of trash cleaned and well our way our uh, task to to help that is uh, to make that happen is a financial support so uh, you can just uh, donate there is uh, down in the link there is down in the description box a link for uh, the website teamsees.org and well you can read there also a little bit more about this initiative and also if you like that a donate and as i said that is something that we can do definitely from the comfort of our home you don't have to get out you don't have to do anything just help the initiative just well i guess we all all are aware of that and we all are responsible of our planet and to leave our planet with um, the smallest footprint carbon front footprint trash footprint that we can i really do try to live my life by that and i really do try to well i guess make as less trash as i can and try to recycle everything i can recycle so uh this i find this uh, organization i find this initiative so amazing and well they are doing the 
the or, uh, organizers are doing everything for us. They are uh, preparing everything. They are uh, negotiating everything. And all we need to do, again, as I said, from the comfort of our, of our home is just to give a little. You don't have to give a lot. If that's not something that you can, you can just give as much as you like, as much as you're able, if you are able. If you're not able, you know, don't be bummed about that. You can still join the Team C's organization, Team C's. Well, maybe just ask around in your community, how can you help with uh, cleaning the seas, rivers, and maybe do the physical work yourself. That is also how you can help if you're not able to help that financially. And well, I guess, but the easiest way for all of us and the quickest way for all of us is just to give something to get a lot. And well, as I said, if you want to find out a little bit more about the entire initiative, if you want to find out a little bit more of how to donate or what the plans are, well, just uh, go on to the website. This is, as I said, teamseas.org. You will find the link down in the description box. Uh, find out, you can find out there a little bit more about all of it. And of course, if that's something that you can do, you can donate. So, well, you could see that today uh, with the theme, I am painting a pirate ship. And because, you know, Halloween is also coming close. So I thought that could be an interesting theme just to put together Halloween and this initiative, this amazing initiative. And well, I guess you will like this. I'm sure you can definitely follow the video just or maybe just enjoy watching it and listen to me speak about this topic and I do I am aware and I do see every year when I go to the seas I do notice how the beaches and how the sea itself is more and more polluted how there is uh, you know I, I, I just don't get it how people don't care today anymore and just leave their trash all around and it's horrible that the plastic we use, that, that daily plastic we use, just ends up in our seas. That is also one way that we can do. Definitely try to use as less plastic as we can and as more as recycled materials as we can. That is also a thing that you can do. And just try to find a way to, well, I guess to change that. We should definitely think about the ways to change that, to change our ways to stop that climate changes, to stop the, to stop that pollution. And who am I to preach? I don't want to preach you here. I just really, really do believe that it, those things are very, very important. I'm not sure I haven't shared that really, but I'm, uh, I'm, well, now as my hobby, my hobby was painting before, but I stopped, uh, I, I, when I turned it into, well, I guess not really my job, my business, painting is my business, I'm still enjoying it tremendously, but you know, when you are earning some money out of it, out of your hobby, then uh, it kind of starts, stops being a hobby, and it starts being a job, a business, so I did, uh, I did need a hobby and I always loved plants. I always loved nature. So I started gardening and I can tell you that's amazing thing. Those plants and wow, what, how much love they give you for just a little, just, just a little. And well, I guess I am trying to do that and I am definitely doing it. Uh, without any chemicals and I'm doing it completely naturally trying to fight uh, the some diseases and pests completely naturally I'm not using anything so only my hands and my time to uh, do what the best that I can you know you we all have to be aware that there are other uh, creatures on this planet and they do need to eat they you need to procreate the well they're here for that to pro procreate so uh yeah i do really uh, i'm looking though to ways to do that as i said completely naturally and also one of the reasons is, is to i guess leave as less a smaller footprint on this planet as i can we have planted some fruits trees 
and also as I said now having some beautiful flowers and vegetables in our garden while well, the gardening season is coming to a close here where I am it's winter is coming and definitely mornings are super cold and days are still warm but you know it, it's coming to its end you can see that it's really coming to its end and I really enjoyed this season I really enjoyed my gardening this year it was just amazing and I guess what I was uh, saying is that uh, I have tr I, when I had such a uh, such a uh, well when I had when I started to turn th my painting into my business uh, my hobby just appeared that gardening and I guess I've I did I must say that I did come closer to the nature in the last year and. You know, it's just sad. It saddens me to see some people really, really don't care and what we are doing to our planet. And we are all doing it. You know, if I'm not doing it and I'm just watching someone else doing it, it's the same thing that as I did it myself. But we can now we now have the opportunity just to do something. It's not gonna change everything. But it's going to change a lot. It's going to mean a lot. And, you know, the feeling that we will all have later on is just amazing. And I'm definitely sure that you will definitely, definitely be proud of yourself. And because you will hear a lot about this initiative, as I said, on YouTube and all the social media in the next few months. I believe somewhere at the beginning next year is the goal to... to um, raise this money and start the initiative start the cleanup so uh, I guess you will definitely feel proud to know that you are a part of it that you are part of that team sees that you are doing something for our planet I do like the slogan team up to clean up so let's just finish with that join the team sees and well team up to clean up I don't think we should go overboard with our inking that would be just fine and I'm gonna get a little bit more of that zero five and just gonna do some lines you know for the water like that and I'm gonna write here pirate ship this is October 29th like that so let's get to some watercolors I'm gonna get these out new watercolors this time and I'm gonna use their this one is called Rock Rock Collection. Rock Collection Black. Interesting. <laughs> Interesting black. So let's just do our boat. Skip those windows. If you go over the line a little bit, that's just fine. Just make sure you leave some part not painted to make sense out of the lines we did. So a little bit more of that black. Like that and the lower part. And then we gonna also use it here to this addition to the deck like that so 
so that's going to be our ship like that and we will come back later on to those uh, windows but for now let's get this I also do love this one this is called cool summer night this one this blue cool summer night this is something similar to indigo so I'm gonna add it just a little bit here to that black and I'm gonna get also this one is called let me just check fall harvest I'm gonna mix that one also in a light wash just place it here yeah you can see that for our wing for our sails quite light color but I do want my sail to appear as though they are almost white something like off-white, dirty white so I'm gonna use a quite light color like that and then also just a bit here to those and these ones a little bit of the blue into our sails just on some parts here where the darkest shadows are like that and a little bit of that black like that so for those uh, for those bones I will use a little bit smaller brush and get again that black and I will paint that in black those bones just a few more touch-ups and details like that and again I'm gonna use that same color that I used for the wing for those uh, sails and just gonna add those windows this time I'm gonna pick up a little bit more of that blue and just do the windows like that that's nice just pick up some clean water and do a couple of splatters and I'm gonna pick up a little bit of that black mixed in with some blue and do a few splatters with that and a little bit more of the blue mixed in with the black and a little bit more like that and we're gonna paint the the sea and you know what maybe even some sky peeking through this is going to be almost a full painting that I do want my boat to be even darker so now that this dried I'm gonna add more of the black because I really do want it to be quite black that ship actually not really a boat right 
This is a ship. Like that. We might want to leave the upper part a little bit lighter, but I do want it to make it quite black. And then just with the tip of my brush, I'm going to add some black lines to my sails. just in some corners like that to make it a little bit more cartoony and maybe some dots here where the where our connections are for those wires that are holding the sails like that just to make it again let's not do it all like that and I'm gonna get a little bit of the yellow place it here mix it in with those browns I'm just gonna add to two of those three maybe windows some black some yellow and that's it I'm gonna get some black mixed in with my blue and do a few splatters with that and I believe We are almost done. <laughs> Just gonna add a little bit more of the black here at the bottom, like that. This ship doesn't look scary at all, does it? Let's just dry that. And I'm gonna get zero one ink pen and do a few more of the details and also a few of the details to those windows like that and then maybe also do like that this one should go also down just do a few details on those just the last touch-ups with a little bit of that black I'll just do a few smudges on our wing on our sails because those sails are pirate sails probably never been cleaned been through all sorts of battles like that just to make them a little bit more dirty and looking like they have been through a lot <laughs> like that And 
and few of the splatters. I will get uh, this time a little bit this one bigger brush. I do want those splatters to be, you know, a bit more. bigger, not just small splatters, like that. So that's going to be our boat. Here, just a few And that's it. We are done. I'm not going to do anything more. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe just one more thing. Just to stay consistent to our previous paintings. I'm going to get some white gouache. And do a few splatters with white gouache. Like that. And this is definitely it. We are now done. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed this one as you did the previous ones. And I hope if you do like it, that you will hit the like button, that you're going to share it, comment it. I would really appreciate also if you comment. And again, if you haven't still, please do subscribe to my channel. There are over 300 tutorials, so you will definitely find something for yourself there. And thank you so much for joining this series for drawing with me, for painting with me. We had such fun. And today is October 29th, so there is two more to go. Please don't forget to check the link down in the description box, teamseas.org, to join the initiative, to join the Team Seas, if you're able to donate something, and to make that change today. Not wait till it's too late, but do it today. I'm so proud of us. So guys, again, thank you so much for watching, for joining me, and I hope I'll see you tomorrow. Bye!